talking about a movie this week page and rock fighting for my family fighting with my family i did that again sure fighting was. with my family it was the movie that the rock produced about pages uh trip to wwe when she was 18 this was a documentary first yes. mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. i watched that a long time ago and we saw bits of it at the end of this right i've oh, seen yeah. i've seen the documentary it's about 45 minutes is worth watching it's pretty good um hint hint wally yeah watch it wally uh i will watch yeah sure and so will everyone else uh (laughs) the movie is a lot not a it is a lot different we'll just go there it's a lot different than what actually happened yeah Uh, the nxt part bothered me at the end but we'll we'll get there right yeah um, hey, this is all Hollywood. They got to make everything a little. Uh, yeah, got to gussy it up a little. They gussy this thing to all hell. So we open with a montage of Rock winning the title, Austin and Rock, and Paige doesn't like wrestling. Kid, little kid, Paige doesn't like wrestling, but her brother does, and she's growing up in a family of wrestlers, which is true. Her dad's a wrestler. Her mom's a wrestler. Both of her brothers are wrestlers, and she is too. Later, a on. wrestler, Soraya Knight, who I have seen in, per- I've seen wrestle in person. Work a shoot, Mark. Work yeah. a shoot. Work a shoot, shoot, shoot. Right. <clears throat> so um, the story is one night, which is real. One night, they her parents running their promotion did not have a because. Um, a lot of kids wrestle. We're going to see this in the movie, but a lot of kids in England wrestle super early. Like yeah. 13, 14, and I, I feel 12. Like I remember hearing about that like with like Pete Dunne and yeah. people like that where it's just like they started very early. Like, what? Yeah, it seems very bizarre for Americans to think that way, but that's how it's done in the UK. So um, her first match was when she was 13 against her brother which is real because somebody dropped out of their pay-per-view or their event, not a pay-per-view, their event. <laughs> no, pay-per-view is what the fuck am I saying? Um, so um, she is fighting her brother who's dressed up as the pink Power Ranger. Yes, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And she walks out and she's instantly over. <laughs> like as over as could be as soon as they see her. I um, love that. Those yeah. kids. Yep. Um, and so we fast forward a little bit to um, another feud that happened. Her versus her mom, which happened oh. in real life. Yeah. And I think the dad and the son had feuds as well. Zodiac Zach. Zodiac Zach, which I don't think is his real name, but um, Zodiac Zach. Um, is, he's Zodiac something. No, he is. It, it, is he Zodiac Zach? Yes. Yes, he is. Oh, okay. I, I yeah. looked up his wiki page. Zach Zodiac. Zach Zodiac. Cool okay. Stuff. So um, we see mom versus uh, mother versus daughter. People going crazy for it. The kids versus the parents. And I'm thinking, yeah, it's a pretty good feud. I'd be into that. Kids versus parents. Mm-hmm. That's fun. It said we did get a... Like a, another young wrestler, like Becky Lynch, because her and Becky, there's yeah. that footage of her and Becky um, dancing her mom with dancing to the ring, like escorting Paige's mom, Soraya, to the ring. Yeah. Like they're both dancing with her, but they're very young. Her and Becky, I think, were a team. Probably. Back then. Um, so her parents are played by Nick Frost who is um, in Shaun always, of the Dead and other always things. Funny. Oh, he was terrible in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> that movie is one of the worst movies ever made. You are the worst. What? Shaun of the Dead. 
<laughs> terrific movie. I knew this How was going to come what, up. What's your opinion of Hot Fuzz? Never saw it, thankfully. Such a good oh, movie. Oh, my God. Bill. I wouldn't. Shaun of the Dead, I literally got up, walked away for half hour, I came back, and I didn't miss a single thing. Nothing had happened for a half an hour. <laughs> yeah, it's because you paused the movie. Nope, sure didn't. <laughs> nope. I was there for that whole thing, and yes, in fact, that's what happened. He left and came back with a and pizza. nothing had happened. And it was very upset. Um, <clears throat> Cersei is her... <laughs> Lena Hedy. Lena Hedy. Hedy. I think it's Hedy, right? Heeny Hedy. <clears throat> Cersei is her mom. So it's weird to see Cersei being nice to her kids. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Sorry, Bill. You're not going to get any of these references. I sure don't. Nope. Game of Thrones, Bill. Game of Thrones. Okay. Um, so we see the kids versus the parents. Um, they want to get into WWE. Um, so they constantly are bothering WWE, sending them in tapes of their tiny children. Um, and at first, Paige didn't even want to be a wrestler. Right. And she caught the bug. She liked it when she got cheered in the movie. But, um, uh, so we um, see the, like the process of how the training works. That's, um, Zach has the van. And he drives around and picks up like delinquent yeah. children. Right. Yes. Pretty much. Yep. In a big van. Yeah. Picks up delinquent children, drug dealers. Uh, one of his buddies is a drug dealer. He's like, just be a wrestler instead of a drug dealer. Um, and then he p- even picks up a kid that's blind to teach him how to wrestle. Yep. Yep. Like, I like this. Fun part of the movie. Blind kid just hears like the metal. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's so excited. It's awesome. Um, we see Paige uh, doing like the dirty work for the promotion. She has to fly her outside of the arena. Oh, yeah. And the popular UK girls show up. Oh, yeah. I and hate those popular UK girls. They, they, they do not look like <laughs> what I would assume to be popular UK girls. They look like popular California movie girls um yeah maybe all popular girls just look like that i guess so they Someday don't like... one of us will meet one <laughs> <laughs> nope <laughs> we're we're doing this we're never gonna meet one that's, yeah, that's true <laughs> um so uh they hate wrestling because it's fake and Paige gets really mad she's gonna kill them and then um they, she's like, no, you should just try it. The other girl, you should try and just come, just come check it out. And they won't, um, because Paige looks different. Do they call her a freak? They call her a freak yeah. here. Yeah. Is this the first time she gets called a freak? She's just a punk kid. It's not that freakish, but especially in England, it's not that. Freakish. This yeah. t- in like two thousand and whatever. Yeah. Like, it doesn't seem like it's that far up, but whatever. Um. So then we see, uh, we hear about her brother, her older brother, Roy, who was in jail because he threw a piece of something in a bar fight and put a guy in a coma. Mm. So he's gone and he went off the deep end when he didn't get signed to WWE. This is where I start getting (laughs) into, into like weird territory. Like there's 70 million wrestling promotions. He didn't get into WWE. So he went crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It does okay. make WWE, like it's like WWE's the only promotion. And he was a perfect citizen until that point too, I'm sure. <laughs> that, that just derailed his entire life because there's no other wrestling in the world. Okay. One of the first strikes against this movie. Um, we get the training. Paige is the trainer, basically. Um, super young, but she, or seven, 17 maybe by this point or 18. I'm not sure. So she's training every. Not, obviously, not eighteen yet. Right, she turns eighteen, bef- right before she gets signed or something. I think so. Yeah. Anyway, she's a trainer. Her brother's training too. Um, um, there's a funny part where, like, the, the drug dealer kid puts a full Nelson on Paige, and he gets a boner. <laughs> she's like, "You have a sniffy right now." 
<laughs> he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I do. She's like, do they make him do, what do they make him do, push-ups? 50 push-ups. Until it goes yeah. away? Yeah. And uh, well, How many can you do? Well, just one, but that's all you need. <laughs> uh, the mom <laughs> walks through, the, and she, she looks at the ring and sees him uh, doing push-ups, and she goes, what, do you have a stiffy again? <laughs> Everybody answers yes. <laughs> I've often wondered about that <laughs> in intergender wrestling. Like, how do you – got to be careful, Joey Ryan. Just got to be cool, man. Keep that thing in there. Keep that thing under control. Don't take your blue chew early in the day. <laughs> yeah, don't take blue chew. Uh, we they, uh, talk about the blind kid wrestling, and then we get another fun little thing with uh, wrestler Union Jack. He's this huge dude. And um, Paige's dad, Nick Frost, is on the phone with another wrestler. Like, uh, let me I see if he'll. Real. Union Jack is real. I think so. So he's on the phone and he's like, um, "Would you take a trash can lid to the face?" And Union Jack's like, um, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would." Let's see how it feels. And he just blasts him with a trash can lid. He's like. Yeah, it's not that bad. I'll take it. I'll do it. And then he, he pulls up a bowling ball <laughs> and says, how about a bowling ball to the nuts? And uh, Union Jack's like, i never taken that before. And he's like, well, let's try it. I'll do it on three. And Nick Frost goes, one, and drops the ball right onto his nuts. Very funny. Yeah. Good bit. Good bit. Good bit. Uh, so we find out after that Zach Zodiac Zach Zach Zodiac is going to be having a baby tells Paige that his girlfriend's pregnant knocked her up yep and he wants to bring her her parents over to meet Nick Frost and Cersei and he's like this is not gonna go well if you're like your normal selves you have to be normal. And they're like, okay, we'll try. You, it does not go well. Shirt? How posh are all these people? <laughs> he says, what does he say? What is he, the what? bloody fucking Archbishop of Kent? <laughs> uh See the Duke of Shitting. Yeah. Oh yeah. The, the Duke. The Duke of Shitting Kemp. Um, we her parents come, and her dad is Stephen Merchant, and uh, yeah, who's from the office. The director. He's the director of the movie. Yep. Right. He's in the office he's British a, uh, British version. He's a Nazi guy in um, Jojo oh, Rabbit. Rabbit. Yes. Yep. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Kind of looks like Andy Daly. Yeah, kind of. Very tall Andy Daly. There was something else I recognized him. He from. was oh, in Logan. Hall Pass. He was uh, Caliban in Logan. Yes, yes, he was. Yes, he was. He's a big wrestling fan. Yes, yes. He's a big mark. So, um, obviously, he was down to do this. <laughs> And he did a good job for the most part with it. So yeah, he's, I thought so. He's yeah. funny as like a weird square dad. Mm. And we get some weird discussion at the dinner table about how Nick Frost and Cersei fell in love. <laughs> Which is like, she was going to kill herself. Oh, they fell in love, yes. And then he <laughs> saved her, and then they wrestled. <laughs> and then they talk about how um, Zach Zodiac's dick fell out in a match one time. <laughs> very fun. Uh-huh. <laughs> and the parents are very, they're very offended by all of this. Dicks. And um, they also have no idea what wrestling is or what WWE is. So they show no. a, a highlight film of WWE, which I laughed at. Well, as you do. That's, that's after they got the call, isn't it? Is it Is after they got the call? Go Florida and we can like move there. Yeah, yeah, they got it at dinner. Yeah. Right. Yeah. WWE. And they calls. said they're going to get the tryout at the O2 right. Arena. They get the tryout uh, for SmackDown. Right. 
right, right, right. So they get the, they're going to have the tryout in England. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, we see them at the tryout, and this is where we get the the rock for the first time. Rock bumps into them, and they have a very awkward, funny exchange. Yes. And um, they piss the rock off. <laughs> Zach, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Right, they keep Rock, asking him questions. Trying to walk away. Zach, uh, uh, rock, 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 rock. <laughs> and then he cuts a promo on them, which is the promo we saw in all the commercials. Because yep, yep, that's all they put yep. out about this movie was the Rock. Is it the Rock? Promo. Is in it? Yeah, yeah. The Rock's in this week, and he cuts a promo in it, and he calls the one, the two of them, Harry Potter, looking like motherfuckers or whatever he says. <laughs> Harry Potter rejects, I think. Yeah, Harry Potter rejects. That's it. That's it. Um. Yeah, it's funny. It's a good spot. Good spot for The Rock. Um, there's a good part where they offer him half price tickets to go to their show. They're like local promotion show. <laughs> and he's like, half price tickets? I'm the fucking Rock. Now <laughs> uh, we get Vince Vaughn. God, I fucking hated Vince Vaughn in this movie. <laughs> he was yeah. like all over the place. Such a weird character. He was like the combination of a million different people from recruiter to trainer to former wrestler. Former wrestler to agent to a whole bunch of shit. The seam the Canyon Seaman guy and like Regal and Yes. Drake Wirtz like all rolled into one. And Mick Foley, it seemed like He had a yeah. match with The Rock one time. What? Oh, it was. Uh, I, I looked that up. It was Al Snow who went off the thirty foot cage against the Rock? Rock. Yeah. Oh. I looked it up because I was like, "Is this Hutch guy a real thing? Like, who who is this guy supposed to be?" The Rock had a match with Al Snow. <laughs> That's what it, I. Yeah. I mean, wow. Unmemorable. Sorry, Al Snow. Al Snow is a trainer though, too. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we get. In Vince 99. Vaughn. Interesting. We get Vince Vaughn um, stopping this thing with The Rock and them and saying, what are you, Make-A-Wish kids? Rock doesn't <laughs> talk to anyone that long unless they're Make-A-Wish kids. Which is funny. And then we get the training. And I wanted to get your opinion on something. Is the one dude, oh. Pete, Pete Dunn. Yes, that's what I read. So it was supposed to be Pete Dunn done at the tryout um yeah was it the short guy with the long hair yeah that's, that's what they that's what i read because dave mastiff was one of them wasn't mastiff he Mastiff is one it's not it, i don't oh you mean someone pre- like playing the role of a yes he's done i feel like that's too weirdly inside he's got long hair and a fur vest Maybe, yeah. Maybe he's supposed to have... Go back and look at him if you give a shit, but he kind of looks like Pete Dunne. I do. He's pretty short, too. and yeah, He's very short. We'll talk about him in a little bit, but those three girls, three Mm. other girls, I think were supposed to be Eve Torres. I was wondering who they were supposed to be. um, Kelly Kelly, or like Alexa Bliss, and... um, What's her name? Because there was a bunch of people in NXT that didn't stick around. Summer Rae, right yeah. Summer Rae and um, Lana Daniel Dashwood, maybe. Yeah. What about Lana? Yeah, maybe Lana yeah. too. Anyway, um, they make fun of the Pete Dunn. Um, well, Zach Zodiac makes fun of Pete Dunn lookalike, calling him a girl during his promo, which the wrestlers mm. like. Wrestlers like that, but Vince Vaughn doesn't. So then he goes after Paige. Vince Vaughn is very aggressive. Goes after Paige being like, what do you want it? What do you want it, Paige? And she gives some answers. He doesn't like them. Finally, she gives like a, you know, I love this, blah, blah, blah. And then he's convinced. Mm-hmm. Yep, just um, like that. So, and then at the end, he lines them all up and he said, uh, Vince Vaughn lines them all up and says, all right, if I call your name, you step forward, and you're in. If I don't, you're out of here. And then he goes, Paige, see ya. 
and everyone's fired except for Paige. Man. And her brother is so upset, and she tracks down Vince Vaughn and tries to convince him to hire Zach Zodiac. And he's like, you're going to get fired now, too, if you do this. And she keeps going at him. And finally, Zach is like, just stop. Just take the job. What are you doing? So she does. And yep. Zach is super bummed out. But Paige is signed to WWE. And she's going to NXT. The NXT. Mm-hmm. The NXT. Um, and this is what happened. Paige's brother and her had a tryout. Paige's brother didn't get signed. Paige, Paige did. And her brother was super messed up by it and jealous of her, according to things she said. So, so that's also real. Um, then we get Paige. Everyone's super excited about they have the party. And they think they're both going to get signed, but Paige is the only one. And they get super excited. For her and no one helps, like no one feels bad for Zach at all. They're just like, yeah, Paige, you got signed. Zach, whatever, who cares? His, his dad did say like, you okay? And that was it. That was the closest anybody said yeah. anything to it. Um, and we get Paige just packing up and we get the, we need the Hollywood shot of her holding the fake kid made cardboard divas title. Oh, all the young girls made those. Yeah, mm-hmm. that made me laugh because it's like, did a lot of girls care about the Divas title? I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I'm not a little girl. <laughs> um, not so anymore. Not Zach, anymore. Is, <laughs> Zach is a huge dick and won't help drop off Paige at the airport, even though the rest of the promotion, everybody goes. Mm-hmm. Her parents, all the wrestlers go to drop her off. He won't go. But he does say, You'll never leave unless you put your hood up and walk away from mom and dad and just go because you're going to be too scared or something like that. So she does that after she says goodbye, everybody. She just kind of bolts, puts her hood up, goes on the plane. Um, And that scene is in the documentary where she leaves and her parents say goodbye to her. It's super sad. Um, So that's almost like exactly ripped out of the documentary. Um, but I don't think all the rest other wrestlers are there. But um, and we go to F- NXT in Florida, and it's the sunny, amazing Florida palm trees and the models. And then I was thinking, they, unless this was this supposed to be because the performance center, which is this is says it says it's the performance center. Yeah, is not near a beach because it's in Orlando, Mm-mm. right? But then I was like, oh, maybe it's supposed to be like FCW. And I don't know where FCW was. I thought that was the same place, but I'm not sure. Yeah. What's FCW? FCW was what uh, NXT was before it became NXT. They could Florida 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 Championship Championship Wrestling. Wrestling. Uh, Okay. Right. It's definitely the Performance Center. Yeah, it definitely was. But the Performance Center is nowhere near a beach because it's in Orlando. There you go. But this performance center is near a beach. <laughs> yeah, so FCW I, was Tampa. Oh, so maybe, yeah, maybe it's uh, supposed to be Tampa. And it doesn't look like the performance center, to be well, fair. No. It has <laughs> the room. same, yeah, it's obviously like a, it's a one ring and it's a different, totally I'm different setup. Pretty sure it was filmed in the UK too, because, oh, we see another wrestler here. At this part, we do? Oh, in this entire part, in this entire part, there's a, in the, Part of the performance center. There's another wrestler there, who is out of. Oh, when they're in, when they're in the performance, performance center. center. Yeah, it's okay. Kip Sabian. Yes, yes. I see. I oh, see, really? I saw Kip Sabian there. He was there a bunch. Yeah, he was part um, of her like class. I think. Yeah, it's weird because her class has no real wrestlers in it except for Kip Sabian. I think Kip Sabian. Yeah. <laughs> so bizarre. And Kip Sabian. I don't even remember them talking about Kip Sabian as like a potential. Signee, so obviously this is just an acting job. Yeah, have. it's just an acting job. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's a hot dude. Um, so we see performance center training, which um we know from a lot of things is very hard. They show like 
all the drills and stuff and it's supposed to be super hard so you quit just like uh you know boot camp or something is this this weird yeah the horn thing yeah yeah this is, I did not like this. I thought this was dumb. Yeah. Tap yeah, yourself this out. Isn't, this isn't a real thing, is it? No. I don't think okay. so. And I feel like no one would ever honk that thing. No. God, no. no. Like, it's very weird. It was. Like, I know like, I would never honk it. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you'll make it someday, Mike. Yeah, I'll make it someday. And they show later, like, someone, like, Paige quits on a, a thing and and they don't qu- cut her or force her to hon- like go ahead honk it. No, I'm not going to. Oh, okay. Okay. You can still wrestle. Like, they do what? show somebody do it though. Someone honks it. Right. They, they show, show the one girl. They show a girl honk it and quit. Um. We see Zach have the baby, and he is just a miserable pile of shit. Yeah. Hates this baby. Does not care about this baby at all. He does not. Not happy about this baby. Nope. Snaker on his wrestling career. I guess. Uh, we get promo class where everyone cuts the uh, the shitty promo that you see. Like the, oh, my name is so-and-so and I'm here to do a rhyme. We see all those promos. <laughs> and Paige does one, which is like, what is Paige? <laughs> so weird. So let's say that one more time. <laughs> <laughs> promo class. We go to promo <laughs> class and see bad promos. There we go. Promo <laughs> class. <laughs> Hot yeah. mess. Yeah, get rid of the background because I think that fucks it up even worse. <laughs> you think it's what's you think that's what's slowing no. it down? No, it's your your internet uh all right promo class whatever done with that uh vince vaughn makes fun of a dude's name during this promo class is like chester biddingsworth or something and like wwe you can't make fun of names. something yeah that was it yeah augustus whatever you can't make fun of names wwe of the worst names ever like that was very uh out of place your name is stupid that's how it goes though I feel like Probably. they do do that. Your name is stupid. You should be Malcolm Bivens. Um, let's see. Oh, when Paige does her promo, it's a promo Malcolm from like. <laughs> when Paige does her promo, it's from like an old promo that she just recycled from another wrestler. It's a lame promo. Yeah, it's lame too. Yeah. Um, then we see Zach has a hardcore match, which is not very good. And then Vince Vaughn, he calls Vince Vaughn and has like a weird, hire me, Vince Vaughn. And Vince Vaughn's like, no, go fuck yourself. You're not good enough. Yeah. Um, Vince Vaughn, the only person that works at WWE <laughs> developmental, <laughs> the only and, person. And Zach has his personal phone number. Yes. Yes. Um, the model girls don't know how to wrestle. They get super stiff with Paige, and she gets she gets a re- she gives them a receipt for um for being stiff with her. And a receipt is when you just be stiff right back. And Vince Vaughn gets all pissed off. Is like, there's no receipts in WWE. Totally really? true. I don't believe that to be true, but okay. Uh, we're so good, we don't. Do that. You're making merchandise for her arrival back home, and they're selling Paige dolls that they're forcing the little kid wrestlers to make, like a sweatshop. I believe that to be true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Um, and this was weird too, because they want her to have a match with her brother when she comes back to England, but there's no way WWE would ever allow that. I could see them planning it still. And she was still only in NXT at the time. It's not like... I guess. It's just bizarre that they they would let her do that. But what? Because she could definitely get hurt. But whatever. Um, we go to an NXT house show. Nobody likes Paige because she looks different. Which is just yep. like... 
Yeah. So bizarre to me. Uh, you know what? She she probably did get heckled for sure, I feel like. But this yeah. is where and we'll get there as we get closer to the end. She was hot in NXT like from the start. Yeah. Like the first time she walked down on the stage, at least on televised or whatever, she was the diva's person that everybody loved. Yeah, she was beloved in NXT, so it's a little weird. Um, she continuously freezes up doing promos during the whole movie and does which fr- freeze up here. Yeah, that, I don't believe that. Like, did she have that problem? No, I don't Not believe it either. Okay. She's a good pro. She seems to have a good promo. Yeah, and if she's been a wrestler since she was thirteen, you definitely don't think she would freeze up doing a promo. Yeah. Yeah. It just didn't feel right. It felt weird. Um, Paige is really struggling, so she calls her brother, but he won't answer her calls. And he's being a dick to his baby. <laughs> Again. He's being a being dick, a dick to, to that baby. baby. Um, and then we see Paige tries to become a model. She dyes her hair blonde. Yep. She goes tanning. I think she did do this. I believe she said before she did this. Um, I could see it. She was she was raven haired by the time she was like on TV. But right, I think this happened. I think she went and dyed her hair and went tanning and took all her piercings out and stuff. And I think it was actually Dusty Rhodes, who was the coach, one of the coaches, was like, "What the hell did you just do to yourself? We like you because you look the way you look. Why would you?" try to be blonde doesn't make any sense so uh nobody says that in this movie though which i thought was weird uh hutch vince vaughn says what did somebody break up with you yeah he (laughs) makes fun of her for it but he doesn't like encourage her to go back which is weird um then we're on the beach and Paige can't flip a, a tire so um yeah flip that tire Vince Vaughn goes after her and wants her to quit because she can't flip over a tire. And then she thinks the models are making fun of her on the bus home, and we find out that the models are not making fun of her. She's being a weird paranoid dick. Because models then, be models be having babies too. Yeah, and they say, like, you're making fun of us, but we're trying here. Yep. And then we get the Paige and Vince Vaughn speech where Vince Vaughn says that he was a wrestler. Oh, boy. Uh, Vince Vaughn is a wrestler. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so I remember that scene. Yes, Paige and Vince Vaughn are talking about her brother and Vince Vaughn is like, yeah, I don't want to take him because he's, all this bad shit's going to happen to him. He's a journeyman, and uh, he's saying all these things, and, and she's like, that won't happen to my brother. And he's like, yeah, I thought the same thing about me. So he's, he, he's, it's like he's trying to protect her brother from destroying his, his body by being a journeyman for WWE. What a hero. Mm-hmm. A real hero. Okay, now we get the Christmas match. Yeah, she goes back home. All right, she fights Zach in a Christmas match. And he's stiff. He works out, works a shoot on her and holds her down for a three count because he's mad that she's going to quit WWE. Ooh, don't do that. Because that's his dream. God damn it. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then he, um, we see him get in a fight at a bar because he wants to fight people because he didn't get into WWE. And uh, Nick Frost has this. Because that's the same thing that happened. Right. That's the same thing that happened to his brother. Yep. Uh, and then the parents finally kind of act like parents and are like, uh, if you hate this, just quit and wrestle here. It's fine. Like, we'll figure it out. And that's yeah. the end. End of the movie. There you go. And she quit and it was over. Uh, and then this gets so fucking weird after this because it's like light speed. Yeah. It like goes to warp 10. 
So they have one house show that goes well where Paige gets over. And she's well, they got of, a whole they got a whole right. montage of like training and You're, stuff with and her getting closer to the models and stuff. Yeah, she helps the models wrestle. She goes back to being herself. Yeah, they do training, but they completely skip her actually wrestling. Right. Um, so we have the house show match that goes well. Then Roy gets out of prison. And um, one house show match later, Paige gets to go and watch WrestleMania. And oh, uh, yeah. she immediately gets put into the Rock's dressing room. Yeah, why is she there? I don't know. like a weird casting call thing. Like Hutch just puts her in there. It's just like, here, just go in. I thought like I thought like Vince was gonna show up or something or it was weird. Yeah, they make it seem like the rock is in charge of creative. It's weird. And we get the really fun um thing where we see uh Zelina Vega playing AJ Lee. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. I forgot that I I remember that being talked about at the time, but I forgot about it until I saw it here. And the one playing this uh, Paige's stunt double was Tessa Blanchard. Right. Oh. Yeah. Tessa, Tessa was Paige's stunt double for the whole movie. Or um, while playing the Paige stunt double. What's her name? Florence Pugh? That's yes. Yeah. Florence Pugh. Who's actually like already like become a big time star. Yeah, she's um yeah. in the Black Widow movie, right? She yeah, she was in something that I recommend. She was nominated for Little Women. It's gonna be in the new uh Black Widow. Yep, she's great. She's about to be a real big star. Yeah, they kind of oh because of her. this movie. Yep, they got to her before. Uh, then we get the Rock calling Paige's family to tell them that she is going to win well not win but have a match on Raw after one house show yeah that's what I didn't like is that her entire run as the original NXT champion didn't happen yep. they, they cut out part of their company from their movie yeah they cut out an entire chunk of her career make it seem like yeah. she just won the Divas title after one house show. It's yeah. f- funny when you watch stuff like this and you know the entire story. Now, you wonder like people who don't, like if we didn't know this story, if we never watched wrestling in our life, right. we didn't know this story at all, we would not, you know, we'd probably like this a lot more, I'm guessing. As, uh, as somebody who only sort of remembers wrestling stuff. Like when I watched the end with her in the ring against AJ, like just watching that, I was like, this doesn't seem right at all. So I went, I went back and I actually watched that part of the, the raw. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's not how any of that happened. Like she wasn't timid and scared of everything. She was fucking page. People knew her. Yeah. Made no sense. Um, so uh, Ron, when The Rock calls Paige's family, we get a fun little moment where Nick Frost goes, uh, are you Vin Diesel? <laughs> yeah. Rock and Vin Diesel have this like battle against each other going on. I think it's still going on, right? They hate each other. Yeah, yeah, they don't like each other. So that was a fun little oh, really? moment. Yeah. So that was funny. The Rock allowed that to be put in. Um and that was a fun little conversation. Rock and Nick Frost should have a show together. <laughs> yeah. That'll be sweet. Um, uh, so Paige is getting called up. Uh, we find out Rock and Vince Vaughn had a match. And that's who he was talking about. Yep. And what does Rock call him? What's his nickname? Hutch. Sex tape. Oh, sex, sex tape. tape. Which is Because he makes everybody famous. <laughs> right, right. I hated this. Hated that part. 
Ooh, is that calls. mostly what they call Al Snow, right? Yes. Yeah. Except I, I just watched that match to see if Al Snow actually won. Nope, he didn't go off the top of a cage because they also didn't have the top of the cage during that match. So I don't know what the fuck's going on. Okay, so maybe not Al Snow. Uh, Roy gives a pep talk to Zach. It says basically like, yeah, we suck and Paige is better than us, but she wouldn't be as good as she is if you weren't here. So that turns everything around. Zach yeah. likes his baby now. What's up, baby? Likes his baby yeah. now. His tool goes back to training the kids, teaches the blind kid how to do a, a springboard splash. Is that what it was? Splash off the top? Yeah. He cross, jumped off the ropes. Cross body off the top rope. I That's think it, it was. cross body. How are you correcting me on wrestling moves? What the fuck? Well, uh, let's see. I like this part where I like the parts in the van where they all sing the metal songs. They sing "Born to Raise Hell." I thought those parts were fun. Yeah. Um, and then I, Pete, I really liked it when he pulled up. I, I really liked it when he pulled up to the the uh, playground for the deaf kid at the end. At, or for the blind kid at the end, he goes, oh, don't tell me now you're deaf, too. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta want him back. Oh, baby. Yep. Uh, Paige is in the back freaking out before her match in her dressing room of one where it's locked and no one can get in. Mm-hmm. Um, and she calls Zach and finally he answers and gives her a pep talk by basically saying... Well, it won't be as bad as the time my dick fell out of my pants in a match. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she laughs, and then she goes out to have the match, and she's cool with it. And we get to see Zelina Vega full on being AJ Lee. She actually does a really good job being just like AJ Lee. She's doing the yeah. skip and stuff. And the way she talked, too, I thought was was very similar to what AJ sounded like. It was good. Um, and this segment, like Wally said, is not at all like what happened. So the only thing that was the same was the she was put in pages or in AJ's uh, finisher or whatever it was, and then Paige did her page turner, and that was it. Yes, Bill. What? Did you raise your hand? I did. <laughs> just cuz. Oh, okay. Just to be just to be funny. Uh yeah, so it's funny cuz the real segment with Paige in this segment she does she freezes up, AJ, AJ beats her up. She eventually beats AJ for the title, then cuts a promo and everybody loves her. But everyone hates her when she first comes out. In the real version, Paige is beloved when she comes out. Like, I'm sorry, AJ, but I just wanted to congratulate you. And AJ is there with Tamina. Tamina. Yeah. Tamina oh. is her bodyguard. Yep. That's right. Right, 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 right. And then AJ cuts like a fucking kick ass promo because if you don't remember, she is an awesome promo. Yeah. Yes. Well, why would you ever want Tamina in? <laughs> In the, you would uh, be like, yeah, we can cut to you. Solid cut. Yeah. So, um, and then after that, Paige beats her in like one second and then holds up the title and is like, yeah, beat you. Ha ha ha. And that's it. She never cuts a promo or anything. And it's like in the middle of Raw. And it was cool, but not exactly yeah, how like that. Not exactly how it went. So, uh, and then. At the end, we see, like you said, we see the clips of the documentary, which you should go watch. Yeah. Yep. So, what do we think? Good movie. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Was, it. it was it was enjoyable. Yeah. I liked it. It's not bad. 
Yeah, not bad. It was very much WWE's version of things as it always is, but it was good. Yeah, if they could figure out a way to have cut those things and just like instead of propaganda machining themselves and just had the story, it might have been better. But I enjoyed it. Yeah. All right. Enough of this train wreck. While you're up next, what are you picking? We are watching the 2009 Sherlock Holmes. Oh. Is this? Have have we watched this? Yeah. Did we watch this? I didn't see it in our feed, so. I don't think so. Who's the Sherlock Holmes in this? Uh, Robert Downey Jr. Downey Jr. Is Kevin Nash in it? No. (laughs) No. It's uh, Kurgan's in it. I have not seen this movie. No, it was good. This it was movie is good. good. I haven't seen it either, so that's why I picked really? it. Really? It's good. Yeah. You have it? It's good. I liked it. I like Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's got Jude Law as Watson, so yeah. Rachel McAdams as somebody. Can't be all bad. No. It's very good. It needs more yeah. Kevin Nash, though. All movies need more Kevin Nash. I thank God that you're not picking Kevin Nash. All right. That's what we're watching. Fighting with the Family. Pretty good. It's on Hulu and on Prime. It's a fast watch. Goes yep. by quick if you're not pausing every 30 seconds to take notes. It's a fun watch. If you have to pause it a lot, don't. It's not as much fun. All right. Looking forward to Sherlock Holmes with Kurgan. Kurgan. All right. Yep. That's it. Oh, by the way, keep an eye out for every Thursday. We're going to be opening a pack of WCW cards on the YouTube channel. Oh. So we've got, I've got eight weeks of card packing opening. Is that coming. YouTube only? On YouTube only. Not a podcast. A seven-minute podcast. I don't know if that's a format you want, but uh, they're quick. They're quick ones. They're fast. There's going to be eight, maybe more. People like them. The first one seemed like people liked. Um, So uh, yeah, I'm going to open up WCW cards if you need more of this show. Where'd you get those? I bought them at a flea market like three years ago, and I've been waiting to open them up. And I was like trying to come up with a fun way to open them up on the show. And then we had this whole thing happen. So I'm like, oh, fuck it. I'll just open them myself. So that would happen. That's what happened. There you go. Do it live. We're live. All right. This is over. Peace out.